Okay, well, I'm going to start by showing this. This is the original vocalist recording of Stanza 3 Chorus. He's a terminal man. He's terminal man. He and this is our reworked version piano transcription. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change Part 5, Distinguishing. In this part, we have reflected, we are working with a vocalist transition, which you just heard. We sent some of these to them for review, and we're preparing for a live review and edit. Um, we've been using MuseScore to write down ideas and sounds to play them for ourselves. Now we're using it to write down client ideas for sounds. Uh, then we had to get into a whole lot of distinguishing. It turns out that we are used to doing all of this, so to speak, in our own head. We have the idea for the sound. We're the composer. We represent it on our score. We are the transcriber and we have a score. Then we make the computer program over here play it and that results in a performance and what we actually hear. So we're used to doing all that in our head. That's a very interactive flow going back and forth. But now we have a third party composer and we are hearing what they're singing. They're composing with their voice instrument. He's a terminal man. He and it's up to us to somehow figure out how to transcribe and represent that. And this frankly is the third shot at it. And the key was we had to switch from two quarter time to three eighths time. And then when we use what we call the click, click track here, it, it helped kind of nail down this three time swing thing. So um, we learned a lot. We learned a lot. Um, so in this series, transcribing and annotating vocal music has become a thing. In fact, we went back and took a piece of music that we worked on four months ago which we hadn't, we had the first few lyrics worked out and then we added more lyrics in our head, but we never put them down on paper. So kind of in the process of working with this project, we went back and worked with one of our own projects to get some of these distinctions clear. And we made a list besides this little flow model, we made a list of things that are important to talk about with a client, the lyric line, the core melody, the pitches without syncopation. Um, if we're going to add harmony at some point, um, we need to know the backbone. And if you want to add richness, blah, 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 we're not sure we're going to do all that with them, but you, at the, at the minimum, you've got to get their words and their pitches and their syllabic rhythms in here. So that's what we focused on here in our song. We harm, we blame, we breathe, we profit, we react, we breathe, we conceal, we reveal, we choose, we breathe, we act, we advance, we breathe. And that was the first, uh, what we ended up calling that, verse one and refrain one right there refrain one it's a little easier to see if you look at it as usual as a usual it's easier to look at it in a continuous view so that was good clarification and as long as we were at it of course we went and we're looking at how to add some depth and, and harmony to it and this is using the uh, the two five. It's a pentatonic parallel scale. Like we said, this came from I think it was two series. Well, it was four months ago, four the last series. And you can hear there's a lot of different in how we enunciate the words. We react. We react. We react. Whereas we choose. We choose. We react. We react. We choose. We advance. So that is the words, those are the pitches, and then there's also a syllabic rhythm, a syllable rhythm that matters. And again, we used a click track down here to help us figure that all out. So that's the wheel. We'll play that. Let's play that for you.
in its entirety. Here we go. So what we like about this, not only did we get our lyric and our song uh, onto a score where uh, theoretically a vocalist could then interpret it and perform it, just like us, like we did, um, but also we noticed that we tend to use the same melody for the verse and the same counter melody for the refrain, and we just repeat them. So that's what you would call a song a structure, duh. It's a song. But then we moved on and worked on the piece called Darkness One, which is using a new scale that we talked about. And this one, we've been adding more and more depth to it. But in particular, there is no repetition. Part one, part two, part three, part four. There is no repetition whatsoever here. So um, we aren't, this, a lot of, we don't, typically write our pieces as song structure we write them as textures and so now we've got some interesting um, cognitive dissonance going on between that so this is where we've gotten to with uh, this one I'll play the whole thing for you here we go So what we like about this piece is we have been adding passing notes. We ended up having two lines of passing notes. We added a shimmer, two lines of shimmer. We kept them. They're reinforcing each other. Uh, we're reinforcing. The idea of reinforcing has become a thing with this piece. And then when we did come up with what we called implied cadences, implied cadences, which are up here, we went ahead and in this stream today and broke them out into arpeggios so we could actually solo this and we could have a we could just play the first four lines and have a what we think is a cool sounding piece like this and then we could also play uh, mute those and whatever's left, let that play as a variation. Actually, what we would like to do, we want to keep... We've, the reinforcement line stays. So again, as we said, reinforcement is becoming a thing here. So that concludes today's stream and this part. Shout outs to Gen245 and Shales Roper28. Thank you for stopping by. We also had a couple follows. We appreciate you. Our ideas for next time are to, uh, again, work on the wheel some more and maybe work out a harmony accompaniment that would kind of parallel, we hope, our work with our client. We do have a review meeting with the client, which we should acknowledge in here. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's already scheduled. Um, but we're going to have to take terminal man and put it on the three, eight time instead of two quarter. And then there's, there's some other verses and 
choruses. There's so, th these songs from the client do have song structure. Uh, we should label that here. Yeah, song structure. So tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.